I will start. Uh, welcome, my dear students. Today, uh, we are going. Uh, we are going to have a revision in atomic structure. Uh, the atom, as we know, the atom consists of nucleus, which contains two types of particles, protons, which carry positive charge, and neutron, neutrons which, which are neutral. And the electrons revolve around the nucleus, in energy levels, as we know, and the number of energy levels in the heat is the atom itself. K, L, M, N, O, P, and Q. As we know, the number of electrons around the nucleus equal the number of protons inside the nucleus. For example, if we have sodium atom, the atomic number equal 11, and the mass number equal 23. As we know, the atomic number is the number of protons inside the nucleus. And the mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons. Uh, we, as we know, uh, we have two types of elements, metals and non-metals. Metals, the outer most energy level contains from one to three electrons. For example, sodium, 11, 20, 3. The nucleus contains 11 protons, and 11 electrons surround the nucleus. The first one contains two electrons, the second eight, and the third equal a one. When sodium react, with non-metal, it loses one electron from the outermost energy level. So it transforms into positive A ions. Positive 11 to 8. So the total number of charge, 11 and A, 10, you back up, carry one positive charge and changes to positive A ions. Another example, magnesium, 12, 24. The nucleus contains 12 protons, and the electronic configuration of it, 2, 8, 2. So it loses two electrons from its outermost energy levels and change it to positive ions, positive 11, to 8. So it carries two positive charges and changes also to magnesium to positive. Another example, aluminium, 13, 27, The nucleus contains 13 protons and the electronic configuration, 2, 8, 3. So it loses 3 electrons and change it to aluminium ion. 2, 8. So it carries 3 positive charges. Three yeah, as we know, the outermost energy levels in metals contains one, two, or three, 
and loses them in chemical reaction and loses them in chemical reaction and changes to positive A ions. Uh, now we repeat the electronic configuration of non-metals. Non-metals contains from five to seven electrons in outermost energy level, like chlorine, the atomic number 17, and the mass number 35. So it contains 17 protons inside the nucleus, and the electronic configuration 287. So it gains one electron, you have gain one electron, become two, eight, eight. So it carries negative charge because the number of electrons will exceed the number of A of protons and becomes negative ion. Another example, sulfur, the atomic number 16 and the mass number 32. The electronic configuration, the nucleus contains 16 proton and the electronic configuration comes 2, 8, so it gains two electrons to complete the outermost energy level to eight. So it becomes positive 16, two, eight, eight, and you carry two negative charge, come to negative E, I. Uh, Another A, can we have another A example, or it is enough. And we have an chlorine monovalent, sulfur divalent. Uh, the, valency, the valency of A elements, the valency of elements, is the number of, of electrons lost or gained when the atom reacts with another A atom. Uh, now we want monovalent elements divalent elements trivalent elements Uh, we start by metal, metals, monovalent like sodium, lithium, potassium, silver, the examples. Uh, in case of divalent, tamar divalent and calcium. Magnesium, a copper, barium, and as we know, copper may be mono or dark. Copper may be mono or dark. Uh, barium, uh, in case of trivalent in aluminium, the iron, iron may be trivalent or divalent. And two, because the transition elements. Okay. Uh, in case of non-metals, non-metals are yes, non-metals. Yeah, uh, mono. Then a di, divalent. Trivalent, tetravalent, 
de interviews. A monovalent light hydrogen is monovalent. The halogens, fluorine, chlorine, chromium, iodine. A divalent element like a oxygen, like sulfur. A trivalent like phosphorus, maybe tri or penta. And nitrogen also tri or penta. Tetravalent like carbon, like sulfur. Tetravalent. The examples for the valency of important metals and non-metals. Okay. Uh, in case of chemical formula, where and the atomic masses also. Uh, if we have mass, what is meant by? The relative atomic mass of sodium equal twenty three atomic mass unit. It means that Uh, the ratio between the ratio between the mass of one atom of sodium to the mass of one atom of hydrogen equal twenty three. So the relative atomic masses mean the ratio between the mass of one atom of element over the mass of one atom of hydrogen. Uh, top. What is meant by the molecular mass, say, of sodium hydroxide equal 40 grams? Uh, say molecular mass in grams, in grams. Or the mole, the mole the to cover the mass of one mole. Uh, as we know, the mole means the molecular, the molecular, or atomic masses in grams. The 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 mole is the molecular or the atomic masses in grams. Uh, say. How to calculate the molecular mass of sodium hydroxide? As we know, the atomic masses of sodium equal 23 sodium, the oxygen equal 16, the hydrogen equal 1. Say the molecular mass of sodium hydroxide equal Sodium 23, oxygen 16, and the hydrogen equal 1. 40 atomic mass units. As we see, the mole means the molecular mass expressed in grams. So, one mole of sodium hydroxide equal 14 grams. 14 Grams. Uh, another example. Uh, one mole of sulfuric acid. Uh, in case of sulfuric acid, the hydrogen one, the sulfur in atomic mass 30, uh, 32. Uh, as you know, oxygen 16. 
if I have two atoms of him, of hydrogen, if I have two times one, plus sulfur, 32. 32. Oxygen, four atoms, four times steam. He equal 98 grams. 98 grams. Uh, another example, say one mole of sodium carbonate. A molecule of sodium carbonate contains two sodium atoms, one carbon atoms, and three oxygen atoms. But two times 23 plus carbon. Carbon 12. The atomic mass. 12 plus 3 times 16. And we can calculate it. Okay? Uh, thank you for listening.